Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by tastyattudes.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate a technique on how to cut out an object in Adobe Photoshop using a layer mask. Now, using Photoshop, one of the most common things you will find yourself doing is cutting out an image from its original background. These cutout images can then be used in design for print and digital, in InDesign, Photoshop, or even After Effects. So here we are in Photoshop, and as you can see, we are currently looking at two images. On the left, we have an image of a woman sitting on a blurred, colourful background, and on the right, we have the same woman, though this time sitting on a transparent background. And we know this because we can see the white and grey square texture in the background. This is Photoshop telling us this is transparency. If you'd like to take a closer look at these files and follow along with this tutorial, you can download this JPEG and the Photoshop documents. The link is in the description. So in this video, we are going to be working with the first image on the left and separating her from the background to create a transparent background and end up with the composition here to the right. So let's take a closer look at what we are going to do in this video. So currently, this cutout is sitting on a transparent background. Now, if we look carefully in the Layers panel, we can see we have an orange folder called Person, and in this folder we have a single layer called Woman. Underneath this, we have a layer called Background, and if we look closely, we can see that the visibility of this layer is currently turned off. Now, if I toggle this layer on, we can see the woman is now sitting on top of a bright green background, and we can no longer see the transparent background. Now, if we come back to the woman layer in the orange person folder, we can see a black and white thumbnail icon. Now, this represents a layer mask, which has been applied to this cutout image previously. Now, if I put my mouse cursor over the icon, right click and select Disable Layer Mask, all of a sudden we can see the original background for this woman image, and a red cross will appear on the Opacity Mask thumbnail icon on the layer, and this means that it's currently disabled. Now, if I simply click back on the Layer Mask thumbnail on the layer, this will reactivate the Layer Mask, and we will now see the green background behind it. So this cutout was done by creating a layer mask. So now I'm going to demonstrate how I did this. Now if you wish to follow along here, you can download this image in the description. So here I am with my original image open in Photoshop, and if we look closely in the layers panel, we can see this is a single layer, and it currently has a lock icon to the right. If I try and toggle the visibility of this layer at this point, you will see you will not be able to do so. So the first thing I'm going to do here is double click on this layer. This will prompt a menu box and ask me to rename the layer and set a few other options. For now, I'm just going to rename the layer to Woman and click OK. Upon clicking OK, you will now see the icon has been removed. And if I toggle the visibility of this layer, we can see transparency. Great. So now I'm going to attempt to remove the background using a layer mask. So what is layer masking? So layer masking in Photoshop is a way to remove parts of a layer or the visibility of a layer without actually deleting anything from the image itself. To apply a layer mask to a layer, we first need to have the layer we want to mask selected, and we can then come to the bottom of the layers panel and click the add layer mask button third from the left. Upon click, we will see a new mask thumbnail icon appear to the right of the image thumbnail on the layer. Now, by default, this is set to white. The rule of layer masks is that everything that is white is revealed and everything that is black is hidden. Now, keep this in mind. So, if for example I press Command I to invert the mask to black, notice how the image disappears and the icon thumbnail is now black. Well, I'll press Command I again to invert. We will set the layer mask and turn that to a solid white and we will reveal the image back. Simple. So now we have the layer mask selected on the layer, we can begin to edit this layer mask using the brush tool to draw on top of the mask. For example, 
If I press B on the keyboard to activate the brush tool, I make sure I have the foreground colour set to a solid black and start to draw on the canvas area, we can see I am beginning to remove parts of the background and we can see the transparency beneath. Now, if we look closely on the layer mask thumbnail in the layers panel, we can see the black we have just added to the layer mask. Whatever is black on the layer mask hides the visibility. So what we're about to do is go around this image and add black to the layer mask to mask away the visibility of the background to get the transparent background around the woman figure. So now we are starting to see the transparent background as we begin to mask away the layer and we can now see the white and grey texture coming through representing the transparency. Now this is a very busy texture and it's going to be quite distracting. So to make things easier, I'm going to create a solid green luminous background to create contrast and help us create a clean mask. So next, I'm going to press Command Shift N on the keyboard to create a new layer and I'll call this layer background. With this new layer created, I'm going to come over to the menu and click on the foreground colour and set this to a bright green. With the Paint Bucket tool, I'm going to click to fill the entire layer bright green like so. Then, in the Layers panel, I'm going to click and drag this layer below the woman layer. Perfect. OK, so now it's time to focus on the layer mask and proceed to mask away the background on the woman layer. So before we start, we need to be careful to select the layer mask thumbnail icon on the woman layer. Next, I'm going to pick a starting point where I'm going to begin to mask away. So I'm going to zoom in here to the bottom left of the woman figure. Okay, so I'm going to press B to activate my brush tool. Make sure my foreground color is set to black. And up in the control panel, I'm going to click on the brush presets and select a solid brush. Just to the right of this, I'm going to click on the toggle brush panel icon and set my spacing to 1%. I'm going to make sure on the control panel that my opacity for this brush is set to 100% and I'm going to toggle the brush size appropriately like so. Now I'm going to begin to mask away more of the background so I'm going to start down here at the base of the woman figure and press and hold shift on the keyboard. I will click once at a starting point then place my mouse a little up and click once more. Notice how I draw a straight line with shift held on the keyboard, I'll move my mouse up and click again to create another straight line. Now using this technique is going to help create a smooth, seamless outline around the figure here. But I recommend you do this in many small increments, so you don't end up with a choppy mask effect. Try and keep it smooth and accurate to the image you're cutting out. So I'm going to continue to move along the outline of my woman figure to essentially draw a line around her masking away that part of the image. And we can see the bright green background layer coming through which is creating nice contrast so I can see I am creating a nice clean mask. If you wish to make small edits to the mask or mask away small details, simply release shift on the keyboard and click to edit the mask freely. Now, if you think you have removed too much of the image, then simply press X on the keyboard to toggle the foreground colour from black to white in the menu. And using the white brush to draw back onto the mask to reveal the area you removed previously. Remember, white reveals and black removes. Now, I'm going to just continue to mask away the outline around my woman figure. I'm not going to worry too much right now about how accurate and perfect this is, as I can always come back later and refine the mask. So, as I go around the outline of my woman figure, I will toggle the brush size to mask away some detail areas and get a clean mask. Soon, I will end up with something that looks like this. So, now I have what looks like a green outline going around my woman figure. Now, I'm simply going to toggle my brush size relatively large and mask away the rest of the background freely until I have something that looks like this. So now I have a relatively neat mask applied to the woman layer and I have the woman figure sitting on the green background. Excellent. Now it's a case of zooming in, 
taking a look at the outline mask and refining the edges if I need to, to make it more neat and tidy. Now, you could leave it there, but if we look closely around the hair, it's not looking that great. It's almost too neat, too clean. Now, what we can do here with the layer mask still selected is come to the brush presets up in the control panel and choose a gritty brush. Then change the opacity of the brush to around 50%. With this brush, we are now going to begin to comb at the edges of the hairline like so. Now, because the brush is set to 50%, it's going to create a nice light effect on the edge of the hairline. And also, we can use the same technique as earlier, holding shift and clicking once, and then again to draw a nice smooth line. Remember, if you feel you have removed too much away, simply press X to toggle to the white foreground color in the menu and click to reveal your image back. So this is really a case of using white and black to blend your hair until you get a nice mask effect you are happy with. Now, sometimes with the hair, you may encounter a situation like this, and I'll just zoom in here. We can see some of the background coming through. Now, this can be quite fiddly and time consuming to address, but we are going to use the same technique as earlier. So with a gritty brush, I'm going to toggle my brushes down quite a lot here. And this time, I'm going to set the opacity of the brush to around 10% up in the control panel and just start to comb into the hair like so to mask away the background between the hair. We use the 10% brush here because it's quite light and we can build up the mask and blend it into the hair so it's not too harsh. Along the way, I'll continue to toggle my brush to get a variation in brush stroke to try and get a natural effect. And soon, I will have something that looks like this. The woman neatly cut out and ready to be used in future design compositions. So the last thing I'm going to do here is a little housekeeping. In the layers panel, I'm going to select the image thumbnail on the woman layer and press command G to group this layer into a folder. I'm going to double click on the folder name and call this person. Then right click and assign a orange label color. Now, if you're not using CS6 or CC, then you may not be able to do this. So don't worry if you can't. So that's how you can cut out an image using a layer mask. So remember, Using layer masks is ideal as you do not delete parts of the original image. When using masks, white reveals and black removes. When masking out an image, create a contrasting background layer, fluorescent blue, green or orange to help create a neat mask. When masking out around the outline, press and hold shift to draw straight lines and use a solid brush against clean edges and use a gritty brush set to a low opacity for hair and feathered effects. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you liked the tutorial, hit the like button on my Facebook page. Don't forget, you can download the documents you saw in this tutorial. All links are in the description. Well, that's it for another video brought to you by tastytutes.com. Thanks for watching, have fun guys, and I'll see you next time.